What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Season 3. Alright, so it is still very early in the morning. It's only like 6am. And yes, I have made some purchases at the dealership. So we are going to have to hook up to our big trailer over there. And go and pick up our equipment that we bought. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this in one trip. But I'm going to try my best. So what I ended up buying is a trailer to transport horses with. As well as a water tanker and a stone picker as well. So there are three items that I have purchased which actually ended up giving me much better of a deal at the end of the day. So we are going to make our way over to the dealership and see how we are going to go about loading everything. If I have to do two trips, I will do two trips, but if we can do it all in one, that'll be so much better for us. So yes, we are going to make our way over there and try our best. So yes, um, the stone picker, it's actually a very nice one. It's got a little bit of a better capacity than the other one they have there. And it's also a little bit smaller in terms of working size or transport size if you can call it that and as for the um, water tanker I decided to go with a 6,000 litre tanker which is a little bit more expensive than the smaller one they had but I thought that the bigger one will just be better because then we can always use it for something else in the future if we have to and then coming back to the horse trailer I did end up buying the medium priced one they had there so that one will do the job for us very nicely and we can also transport other, anim other animals in it as well look at my tongue twisting here all right so yes i will show you guys everything i purchased once we get to the dealership in a moment over here but yeah once we have our stone picker on the farm i'm going to employ a worker to come and stone pick the field for us and then that way this there will be some work done to the farm as well as i will go and do my own thing and pick up some horses for us i will just start off with two horses but obviously i'm gonna have to buy feed as well for the horses so that is also something i will be placing an order for shortly all right just waiting for the pedestrians to cross Alrighty. Yeah, people are, are sure taking their time around town. Okay, here we go. We are moving again. Right, so they have quite a quite a bit of equipment here at the dealership. So we haven't really taken a proper tour around all the equipment they have available. But yeah, there is quite a lot to take in. So they do have a bigger combine here, which is one I would like to get actually, eventually, if it's still available at the time. This one would also be a bit of an upgrade, but I don't think we really need to upgrade just yet. We've got a nice grain trailer, a grain truck, an old semi, a logging trailer, a quite a big one. Then they've got a medium sized one, a smaller one and a tiny one. So I've been looking at this one. This is one I would like to get one day. If it's still available at the time when I need it. Then this is a stump grinder. Which is also something I will have to look into. But yes, this is the bigger stone picker. Which has got a smaller capacity than this one. Which is the one I bought. So this one will be coming home with us today it's uh, actually a very good stone picker and it's also easier to maneuver this thing than to have this one with the sort of off-center working arm when you extend it out so this is one that i decided to go with it was a little bit more expensive obviously but that is fine and the water tanker i bought is this one over here 
which has got the double axle. This is a 6,000 litre capacity. So that one is slightly bigger, but I thought, well, I'll just go with the medium one in between for now and see how that works out for us. So we will obviously still need a roller of some sort at some point. Also a mulcher. There's two different ones here. I've got this tiny one. I think it'll take ages for that um, for us to do the field with this one, but we'll see what else they maybe get new stock. And they've got some more front loaders here, a different cedar, another cedar. They've got some different fertilizer spreaders here. This one actually looks smaller than the one we have. We've got two plows here and then some class tractors here. That's quite a big one. Uh, we've got a case tractor here, which is a very nice tractor actually. And this is a Fiat Agri, or a New Holland. I think it's basically sort of the same tractor actually. It's got a New Holland badge there and a Fiat Agri decal. So yeah, I don't know really what the whole situation is with that. But the trailer we bought is parked right over there. See, I have two more tractors over here as well. This is basically the same as the one we have on our farm. It's just slightly newer, I think. But yeah, they do have two balers here as well. So we already have a baler. We've got a straw blower, which we won't need really. So this is the more expensive horse trailer. So I ended up buying this one, which will do very well for us actually. Uh, this is a cattle trailer, so I don't think you can put horses in this one. And then they've got some weeder and what are these things called again? Forage wagons. So this is also something I might get, seeing as we have a hayloft. So yeah, eventually we'll get something like that. Maybe not these ones in particular, but something like that. So yeah, um, they told me I can use any of the tractors just to load all the equipment onto my trailer so I think what I'm gonna do is get the ramps down and see how much of this equipment we can get loaded onto our trailer right so I think the probably the case tractor or the New Holland will do very well pushing these things around we we'll just obviously park it back in its position when we are done with it. So yeah, I think this one will be easy to get into. Alright, that's a very nice tractor actually. Alright, so let's get a hook up to the stone picker first here. Gonna connect the hydraulics for the brakes, obviously, otherwise, this thing won't budge. I wonder if I can make a little bit more room here for me. Yeah, I think let's see if we move our pickup truck maybe to the middle of the yard, like that. I think that should work a little bit better for us. Let's try and not block in the water tank we have to load up after this. Alright, so let's just make sure the ramps are still in place. Alright, that looks good. So I think we should have a little bit more space to work with now. Let's see how this is going to work for us. Ah, it still looks a little bit tight. But I think we should manage. just hope that our tractor will be able to pull this stone picker because apparently this thing needs 120 horsepower which our tractor only has got I think 115 so we'll see maybe I can just buy five horses from the 
animal trader and hook them up to the front of the tractor. Then we've got 120 horsepower. Alright, let's get this disconnected. Alright, there's not a lot of room on the trailer left. Yeah, looks like we are going to be doing a little bit more of a couple more trips here. But that's good. Once I can get that back to the farm, I can actually just park this tractor here for now like so because we are coming back uh, let me just think what I should do because stone picker is loaded we need to get the water tanker and the horse trailer so let me do this I'm gonna park the tractor back because when I come back I'm gonna leave our trailer back at the at the farm I'll come and hook up to the water tanker see if I can start filling that up with water as well and then by that time when we come to fetch the trailer with the for the horses we can go ahead and pick up the horses and also our oats so we can have the bag of oats loaded onto the pickup truck and then we'll hook up to the trailer last so that sounds good right let me just strap this thing down all right that should help I was thinking if all else fails, I might actually end up stone picking the field with the pickup truck if we have to. Hopefully that's not going to be a thing. Alright, so yeah, slowly but surely we are going to get somewhere. Now we'll see what the time looks like on this episode because I'm really trying to keep the episodes within 30 minutes so if it ends up being too long of an episode I will just basically continue on the same day but do a separate um, video for a next day so yeah we will see how far it goes hope everything is okay back there looks good so far don't remember if I put the ramps up well I guess this thing would be sliding all over the road if I didn't so I think I may have flipped the switch Good. Okay. Right, let's get this stone picker offloaded and see if we can get our field stone picked up. So I think also the stone picker will get rid of the weeds for us that are dead on the field.
Now, fortunately for us, anything we buy off the dealership, we do get a seven day money back guarantee if there's anything wrong with it. So, yeah, that's why I'm quite actually happy with the service we are getting from the dealership. Because Toby does definitely have a lot of good deals. Alright, I just want to do a little bit of a test and see if everything is going to work. Alright, I see we can actually do this at quite a bit of speed. But yeah, I think I'm going to call in a contractor to come and do this for us. And also, I'm going to make a phone call to the dealership to order that bag of oats. Maybe two bags of oats for the horse feed. So yes, I will be back in a second. Alright, and we are back. So yes, the contractor has arrived and I did order the two bags of oats for the horses. So yes, we are good to go back to the dealership and pick up our water tanker and probably also the bags of oats for the horses. So I'm going to disconnect our trailer right here and leave it there for now. And then when we get back, obviously before I go to bed tonight I will put everything away again and everything we used will be cleaned up. Right, so let's make this trip back to the dealership again. So that guy is giving us a gap. It's very nice of him. All right. It's actually a very nice relaxing drive all the way over to the dealership every time. I'm not too sure if there are speed cameras on this road because I tend to put my foot down a little bit but this road is absolutely so smooth so that is why I enjoy cruising down that road actually of oats are ready so I think what I'm gonna do is load those two up first and then we will connect up to our water tanker and take that back to the farm all right so once again let's hop into the forklift if I can do both of them at the same time I think the forklift should be able to handle both of those bags at once and just hop out and see Let me just do one at a time. Oh, it looks like it'll lift high enough.
Okay, there we go. Now, wondering if I can actually push it with the next pack, or should I rather just try and grab it by the tip of the fork? This is a lot of concentration. Alright, so I'm going to try and see if I can push the other bag. Let's get this forks in the right position again. Just about see the forks over there. I think this will also make it a bit easier for us to offload them back at the farm. This one punch at the back. Should be quite solid actually. Alright, there we go, that's perfect. I'm happy with that. I'm pretty much loaded on top of the axle, like you should. Oh, this is actually a very nice forklift. It's just the operator is not so good at it but I'm still learning had a bit of practice already but yeah let's uh, just put some straps over these things mm. all right that might keep it from slipping back all right so let's hook up to our water tanker over there I'm very happy with this Ford pickup truck of ours. Really does an amazing job. Anything I throw at it so far, it's just handling it with ease. Alright, just wait for the old lady to cross the road. Okay, and here we go. So I wonder how far the contractor is on the field now. Because I'm just thinking I'm going to have to wait for him to finish before I can offload these bags. And I don't really want to be driving around with the big bags on the back of the pickup truck. So yeah, that is something that I'll probably have to offload maybe later. sure how long it's going to take for this tank to fill up with our little tap we have there right so 
so yeah once the field has been sorted and planted and everything and we're waiting for harvest season i'll probably start looking at the logging operations because i do have a chainsaw that uncle bob actually gave me all the way back in osada but i never ended up using it at all in elm creek so the day i packed up all of my stuff i actually thought about the chainsaw and i almost didn't take it all right so it looks like our contractor is done with the field so let's just disconnect this here now what am i doing i'm actually disconnected by the tap So yeah, luckily, as I said, I've still got the chainsaw, so going into the woodwork would be quite a breeze then for us. Alright, I will try and figure this out in a little bit, where I need to put the hose in for the water to go in, probably at the top, so we'll have a look at that. But yes, I think on that note, that's all we have time for for this episode. So it's going to be a wrap now. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate every view, every like. And also remember, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. Because yeah, we've still got a long way to go. And yes, also remember, we have a Discord as well where you can join. So yeah. If you'd like to join our discord as i said we have some other youtubers on there as well mr jolly roger himself and as well as mr twisted rods gaming and hearst quasar so yeah hit me up on discord and then yeah become part of the community but until the next video cheers for now <laughs>